I was wrong once again. What's up guys? Ron here once again. I was wrong once again. History did not, again I repeat, history did not repeat itself. We were expecting, or I say, let me uh, take that back. Uh, I was expecting the markets to have a repeat of the last couple of times Powell had a speech, which basically we had Wednesday, 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 green, 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 followed by red, 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 red. But instead, this week, what did we get? We had a similar start on Thursday, where basically the post market did uh, have a massive push lower. And as you can see here, the post market of Wednesday had a massive push lower. This are the futures, guys, so the days don't start to like normal. So this action here that you see on this wick was on the post market of Wednesday. Uh, the markets went down an extra 200 points, uh, only to come back, open pretty flat, like I had said on the morning call. Yeah, expected to open flat and potentially go higher before resuming lower. And at the end of the day yesterday, it almost looked like it was going to actually do it. We did have a nice, nice push lower yesterday, but uh, to... Uh, no avail because it just did not play out like we were expecting. But again, expectations, misstations, whatever. Who cares, right? This is why we plan for both sides, guys. It doesn't matter what we expect. We only can uh, trade what the market gives us. And that's why we prepare for both sides. So as you can see here, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday. I told the guys yesterday, hey, man, take Thursday off. Let's kind of wait and see what the market wants to give us. Tomorrow should be a better day. And a better day indeed it was. As you can see here. Look, ba barely no challenge to the downside. Easy plays to the upside, guys. The market pretty much just rallied. Market internals confirmed. Everything, everything pretty much today was an easy, easy move to the upside uh, for the most part. And then, you know, we started to get these pushes lower uh, later in the day. But pretty much, uh, you know, things worked out great. Uh, simple push down on things like Shopify to uh, the levels that we were expecting, only to continue the rally from there. So... Uh, without fur further ado, let me just go ahead and share a clip from this morning's call, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. All right. So looking at SPY, SPY mm -hmm. is right at the pivot, which makes it pretty easy to trade because now you know. Okay, boom. It's had, uh, it hit the, 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 the pivot on the way up. Obviously, it closed right at it, then opened at it, and now it's been staying there. Cool, because now we know. Okay, now this became your support, so you're either going to Bounce off of it, hit it and bounce off, or you're going to break through it. If it does manage to break through, this is going to be the first level of uh, uh, support. This is the confirmation that it is. We're going that way. So this one is pretty easy. If it breaks this pivot, it should go down from there. Again, keep an eye on the VIX. Keep an eye on the ad and their momentum. So the market's gapped up with less volume uh, than we had yesterday. So let's see what they have in store for us but again we're always going to plan for both sides we're not going to be overly uh bearish uh for one direction or overly bullish okay so if this fails to break lower and it wants to go higher just go high and then just keep an eye on these key levels again always for potential reversals at those places but for the break high today we're looking at this uh pre-market high right at 296.72 confirmation right here then boom to the upside the, the the spacing is a lot larger uh it's not as tight as these here because uh on the way down we had a lot more stops between the recent days okay uh, it only moves about three dollars per day 296 we can look at about 299 maybe 299 so once it hits this level here and or higher if it breaks this is because we have a lot of volume and again like i say every day pay attention to the volume do not ignore the vix okay the vix is going to be a, a crucial today it's going to tell us what the markets want to do so if the vix continues to go lower all right cause it is again pay attention to the ad uh, where it opens and what it starts to do uh, my second choice is going to be Amazon. This is the large mover. So one small one because of uh, you can get a lot of them. And then Amazon. So, so that's key one. I want to make sure it breaks above that. If it does, to the upside, I'm looking for 1746. This is that day range we had uh, from a few uh, week, a week or two back. Okay. All right. So then after that, we're going up pretty much following the lines. Okay. So one, two, three. 
All right. But again, key level right here to watch is going to be key one. 17.4176. If it manages to break that, then yeah, you can expect it to go. But uh, as of right now, we have a major gap up. Um, pretty much on the markets, Amazon, we have this massive wick here. So we'll see what it wants to do. So far, it hit the high and it's been moving lower very slowly. So we'll see. And then to the downside, I'm looking at yesterday's high, followed by 1736, 07 right here. If we get to 1709, I'm looking for 1685 as the low. So if volume starts to pick up. Amazon is a mover, guys. We have a plan for both sides. Don't ignore the plan. Um, Pay attention and then always zoom out and pay attention to your 30 minute chart because it's a little bit cleaner. It gives you cleaner signals so you can actually see what's actually going on because these smaller time frames um, will squeeze you out or, or give you false hope. Well, shop is definitely just from looking at my other chart here while this one loads. It's taking forever. All right, we have again that gap up pretty much no candles and by no candles, we got all these little ticks. You see these? So it definitely looks solid to close that gap, okay? So again, same same scenario as always. Uh, Shopify is pretty predictable, guys. Um, so it hit the high, it hit that pivotal level on the pre-market. So, so far it is looking good to close that gap. Um, let's go back here. We have uh, this gap up with no candles, just a bunch of ticks, as you can see here. So as always, pretty much every single time Shopify does this, it does tend to close the gap, okay? So I would definitely expect Shopify to, at the very least, at the open, shoot down and probably close that gap. At that point, uh, need to consider uh, taking some action uh, and deciding whether uh, to take a short or take the reversal. But I would definitely expect Shopify here uh, at the open, we'll see where it, where it actually opens, but this is definitely, that's where it is right now. I would use 331.36 and 329, so pretty much the pre-market low and pre-market high. But as always, Shopify is likely to close this gap. We're back up in this level so that it likes to reverse. But again, if it doesn't reverse, then boom, it just wants to go higher, then we're going higher. 331, 334, 339. That's it. All right, taking a look at BABA. Boom. Right away, it's at this area, it's back at this area. So weak level, it's at it right now. It hit it, reversed, it's at it right now. Um, so it's just above it. Uh, so let's let the charts finish loading here. All right, perfect. So this one is pretty easy. Uh, we use the pivot and this level here. If it does manage to break the pivot, then it'll be easy to take it on the way up. All right, so uh, pivot 171 followed by these highs, these levels, right? Keep a close eye on this area here. So if it does open below this, I would probably say this thing is gonna break down. It was on the way down, on the way up, break of the pivot, 171, 172, 173. So now what, guys? Now what? I hope you guys enjoyed that clip. That was basically a quick clip of this morning's call. Like I said, we like to plan for both sides. You know why? Because I don't want to come in today overly bearish. Oh, tomorrow's going to crash. The world is going to burn. We're going to drop 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 points on Friday. You're wrong. It doesn't happen that way, guys. It doesn't matter. If it does, we'll be ready for it. If it doesn't, we'll be ready for it. That's what matters. Be ready. Be ready to execute. Because you don't want to be the guy that bought 100 puts today. And this is what happened to you. You don't want to be that guy that was buying puts all the way up. All the way up. Only to not get that drop today. You know why? Because you just blew up your account. And I know you are not happy to go into the week weekend with a blown up account. That doesn't work. I don't know. It doesn't work for me. I don't know if it works for you to give up uh, free money. I mean, if you want to donate money, guys, by all means... Hand it over this way. I know a lot of people that can use that money. So if that is your plan to just throw money away because you are just taking alerts or you're just overly bearish or overly uh, stuck with your confirmation bias, looking for that other person's confirmation that the market is going to crash because that's what you're already in, that's the wrong way to look about it, guys. You don't want to come into anything without being prepared for both directions. I don't really care which way the market goes. I just want to go the way it wants to go. That's what I want to trade. So again, what next? What can we expect next, Ron? You know, what can we expect? doesn't matter. You know, what I think it doesn't matter, guys. That's what I'm going to tell you right now. The markets could be headed back to all-time highs 
Come Monday, the market's got open down here at 2800. We don't know. Okay, we're going to prepare for it. We're going to prepare for it on Sunday night. Uh, we're going to do our webinar once again, and we're going to be preparing ourselves uh, for the week ahead. You know why? Because that's the smart thing to do. You prepare, you wait for the conditions, and you prepare yourself for what's ahead. You don't just come into the market to start buying puts today or start buying calls today just because the market's rallied. Oh, this is the perfect time to buy. Everybody's buying. Okay, well, if that's how you feel. That's, you know, it's it, it may not always work out for you guys. Okay, so just uh, keep that in mind. Um, that's pretty much all we have for today. Uh, for our members, you guys know Sunday we're going to do the, our, our week ahead webinar. If you're not a member, go ahead and click the links below. Sign up and I will see you guys on the next one.